few weeks ago, I got an email from Dot saying, uh, by the way, I'm coming to Barrow <laughs> and I've got a few interesting things that you might like to look yeah. at. <laughs> and I uh, pulled out an envelope. And inside were, it was a Viking horde, and I had no idea that this is actually what we were uh, going to be looking at. We do have a good metal detecting community here in Cumbria, and it was a metal detectorist who um, came across the horde um, around Easter time. And he himself hadn't been detecting for that long, but he um, is friends with somebody who has been detecting for ages, and uh, he's been recording finds with me as well. So when he found the horde, um, he went to him for advice and he said, oh, we'll have to, this is treasure, it has to be reported to Dot straight away. So they um, gave me a call about 24 hours after they found the hoard and that was when I started running up and down stairs screaming. We know that, or we thought we knew, the Vikings are in the area, we've got place names, we have a few objects, but nothing like this. This is a, a collection of ingots and coins and it shows that the Vikings were here and not only that they were here, it gives us a time period and it also suggests that they were in charge of the area. So it really is very important. It's an incredibly exciting discovery, both for people who want to come and, and see it for themselves, see their own history, but also to draw in more people from across the area. This can really boost tourism for the Furness, Furness Peninsula. It's going to the British Museum, they're going to write a report on it, and they're also going to put a value on the collection. Then it goes to the coroner and he has to declare it as treasure. And then what's important is that if a local museum is interested, and we are, it gets offered first to us. So the British Museum has said that they really want the hoard to come to the Dock Museum. And then it's a question of fundraising to pay for the hoard because you pay the landowner and usually the finder. It is the ultimate dream for you know any amateur metal detector or any young lad growing up that you, you, you're digging around or you've got, you've got your detector and suddenly you strike a, a Viking hoard full of uh, treasure worth, even today, worth tens of thousands with an incredible archaeological importance on top of that. So it's all his Christmases come at once. I know that he's not going to do this, but the odds would suggest he needs to quit while he's ahead because, you know, you, can, you will never find this for the next 30, 40 years of doing it.